Hello and welcome to the series of UiPath Orchestrator API. In the last video, we have seen how we can create a set to Orchestrator. Also, how we can get all the set available under Orchestrator. In this video, we're going to see how we can create queue uh, to our Orchestrator and how we can get all the queue available under our Orchestrator without using any interface just by using its API. But before going ahead and test the API, um, we need to make sure that we have an access token uh, and we have a folder ID of our orchestrator services. So I've already shown you how we can authenticate and get access token. Also how we can get the folder ID in my previous video. So I'll suggest you to go and watch my previous video. And uh, let's go ahead and see how we can create a queue using UiPath Orchestrator API. So to create a queue, UiPath has provided uh, this API, which is queue create, uh, which is of type post HTTP method. So this will be the endpoint to create a queue. So it takes a BNR token for authorization and uh, content type, tenant name, and the folder ID uh, under header section. If we can see here uh, in a body section, it takes a name of a queue, the description of a queue, maximum number retries of a queue. So let's go ahead and test this API in Postman. Simply select the post method as we are creating our resources, which is queue. Then replace this URL with the orchestrator URL. Then provide authorization by selecting OAuth 2.0 as UiPath is using uh, OAuth 2.0. So by selecting it, it automatically takes a access token that we have generated using Authenticate Request API. Under header section, we have to mention content type, tenant name and folder name. So these orchestrator URL tenant name and folder ID I have already fetched uh, from previous request and I have saved in a notepad. So if you want to know how I have fetched this detail, you can watch my earlier videos. So under body section, we have to provide this. Select raw JSON and then paste it here. We will create a queue with name first API queue so all are fine so, so we have provided endpoint we have provided bearer token for authorization we have provided header we have provided uh, the our queue name under the body section so let's go ahead and send the request to server to create a queue So we got the response uh, 201, which is created, and our queue has been created. So in the response, uh, you'll find the name of a queue that we have passed, description of a queue, maximum number of retries. Also, you'll find the ID of queue, and so on. So let's check in the orchestrator for this queue. So here uh, you can see our first API queue has been created uh, through API call. So we have seen how we can create a queue under orchestrator. Similarly, we can get the queue details that already present uh, under orchestrator. So let's go ahead and see how we can get all the details of queue. To get the details of a queue, UiPath providing a request API called get queues, get all. So it is providing an endpoint to get the queue details uh, available under orchestrator. So it, it takes a bearer token for authorization and under header section, it takes a content type, it takes a tenant name, and it takes a 
folder ID. So let's go ahead and test the API in a Postman and see the response. So our method name would be get and we need to replace this URL with our orchestrator URL. Under authorization, we need to select OAuth 2.0. It will automatically take a token. Under header section, we have to provide content type. Then we need to provide a tenant name. And then we need to provide a folder ID. To get the queue details, we just need to provide an endpoint. We need to provide a bearer token and we need to provide a header. Uh, so under header, we have to provide tenant name and folder ID and we are good to go and ready to get all the queue details here two queues are available under my orchestrator and one is new queue and the second one is first api queue that we have uh, recently created and if i go to the queue section of my orchestrator you will be able to see for two queues available so that we are getting under the response of this api in this video we have seen that how we can get the queue details uh, from orchestrator and how we can create the queue uh, to orchestrator using api in the next video we're going to see how we can get the queue items uh, from orchestrator also we can create a queue items and push it into the orchestrator uh, through api so thanks for watching my video. Happy learning.